Okay, so this will be the last stamp. I didn't bother sketching out the design. I just cut some wonky circles. Call them wonky circles. I've got some points and some curves. I did three sizes. I'll do all three flowers differently. I'll just show you the, the one here though. Like I said, I didn't bother to pre-draw the, the design. It's, it's a very simple stamp with just a very few lines in the center of it to mimic those circular petals. And then I'll tangle the edges with some fun little cross hatching and polka dotting. And you'll notice that as I'm carving, I've got my tool on a good angle, and that is to minimize the tearing and picking that can happen with the foam. The only time I, I, I go upright is when I'm gouging a hole into the foam to make that sort of tiny little circular shape. So, and I have the craft foam spinning as I go. That just helps to keep it, keep it oriented well and give me good firm grip as I go. So I've carved several leaves and several of these little rosies and the little pretty little heart and I'm going to incorporate them into a whole project. I hope you'll tune in for that. Um, this is great fun. I, I love the fact that we can create very usable things from very inexpensive items. Um, I'm really aware that we all have budgets that we need to stick to for crafting. It's really neat that we can use recycled cardboard and some lightweight foam and do some fun things like this. And maybe instead you'll stop into my boutique and pick up some extra ink colors to, to liven your color library and have some good fun with these homemade inking tools and homemade art stamps. Stay tuned for the project. <laughs> I just love it. It just makes me happy that you can do this with children's craft foam. Hope you have a great evening. Take care.